The last piece of HTML that we need to add to complete this page is the table. So notice down here we have a lot of data that's supposed to be the table. And if we look down here, that's what it looks like on our editor. This is what it looks like on the web page. Now the table has lots of tags. So remember with the A tag, we had just the opening and closing A tag with the content between. With the list, we had the opening list and then LIs, opening and closing LIs. So we see this kind of nesting that we had for lists. Well, the nesting for tables is a little bit more, there are more tags in a table. So I'm going to demonstrate what they look like here, and then we'll go put them away in there. So the table, it, table tag looks like this, and then there's a closing table tag. And these are on the very outside of the whole table. And then inside the table, we have a couple of things. We have rows and a caption. So you can put the caption at the top or the bottom. In this case, I'm going to put the caption at the top. And the caption is uh, like it's text that goes above or below the entire table. And it specifically refers to the table, so there's a caption. And then we have rows. And the tags for rows are table TRs. And so you might have several of these, right? So there's one, two, so let's say we have three rows. And then inside each row, we have um, table cells, right? And so the way we get table cells, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to put the rows like this, because we're going to have a lot of content in here, and they get pretty long. So in between, each, inside each row, I'm going to put table cells. Now, I'm going to start at the bottom one. I'm going to put, um, and then the table cells, there are two types of table cells. One is TD for table data. And I'm, I might have um, how many cells in a row. So let's say that I have two cells in this row. Okay, maybe, or maybe four. And in this row up here, I have four. So those will look the same. So see how that row has four and this row has four. And then my top row, instead of the, remember there were two types, the other type are table headers. So table headers uh, are like, they're bold and they're centered. And so they, they're table headers. And that just says that this heads the table rather than being data in the table. But they also make up cells. And so I would have four in there. So see the structure? Table goes around all of it. And then you have a caption either at the top or the bottom. And adding a caption is one of the things for we do for accessibility so that it explains the table. It's also good for other uses. And then besides the caption, you have rows. Right? In this case, we have one, two, three rows, each with opening and closing tags, and then inside the row are the actual table cells, either table data or table headers. All right, let's go see if we can make out how to do this with our table. So here, let's go ahead and identify that this is, oops, it's not there. The table will be, oh, notice that I have a heading and then, um, there's something here that hasn't been put in content. So this looks like this is just a paragraph. It's not part of the table because here's the note um, about the table. So sometimes this is tricky uh, to figure out what each part is. So let's see if we can figure out what they are. So here we have the table begins. So we can figure out that. So let's go ahead and put the opening table tag. And the closing table tag needs to go clear at the bottom. And there we see the very bottom of it. And then these look like rows. There's one, two, three things on each row. One, two, three. This one's longer. It covers two spans. One, two, three. 
And if we go up here, we can see that here's header one, two, three. So these are going. This is going to be the headings: utility, technique, and description. And then this is our caption. All right. So let's put this together. So we have a caption first, and we'll put the opening and closing tag around the caption. And that stayed within our 80 characters, so we'll just leave it like that. And then we start building rows. And we put an opening row there, and then the closing row. And then we, and these will be our headers. So in here, I'm going to put the opening table header and a closing table header. And I'm going to go ahead and put the next one, table header, and a closing table header, and then an opening table header, and a closing table header. Let's go look and see what's happening, right? Are you interested to see what's happening? So let's save that much and refresh. We know we're not done, but let's see if we're starting to get a beginning. Oh, this is interesting. So there's the paragraph. Uh, but then we've got stuff happening down here. Things are out of order. So before you're complete with a table, it gets kind of mixed up. So <clears throat> let's see if we can keep going. I'm going to go ahead and add the table rows first. There's the beginning. And then I'm going to add the end and the beginning. And one and begin the next and one and begin the next, and one and begin the next. There's a bunch of these, there's a bunch of rows, and then at the very end I'm just going to close the row. All right, now I have a matching opening and closing table row for each thing. Now the rest of these are um, table data. So I just have one table header, so these are all going to be table data which means I'm going to put the opening TD in front and the closing TD at the end. And now I'm going to do this for all of them. And the closing. And so even though this TD spans a line, that's okay, because the content is still there. And so now I'm going to do all of I'm going to go ahead and do this to all of them. I'm going to pause while I do this, and then you can finish up yours too. So you're just going to be adding opening TDs and then closing TDs to every piece of data in the table. Okay, if you've done it correctly, there will be 11 rows, and each row will have three cells. The first one will have three THs, all the others will have three TDs. So let's go ahead and save that and refresh it. And now things line up. So here, notice that there's a couple of things we need to know. One is we're not getting borders, which we just assume will happen. That's okay, we'll add those when we add style. The other thing is that the cells are as big as the biggest item. So here, moderate is the biggest word in the first cell. So we see that the width of that first column is as big as moderate. Over here, highlighting slash underlining, or elaborative interrogation, is the biggest. So that's how big that column is. And then over here, uh, notice that this actually wraps because it's so long it would go off the page. So then it wraps that longest one. So here we see those three table headers, utility, technique, and description. Notice how they don't look any different here, but table headers are centered and bold, whereas table data are left justified and not bolded. Here we see that caption. All right, there's that caption across the top. So there we see our table, and that's what a table looks like without any style. Right, that's the default style that you get with it, which is exactly what we're looking for, is this page without style. And there's our complete page. This is what our web page looks like when we just have HTML.